What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the power of collection instancing and how you can use it to not only save your memory in your model, but also save time when making changes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so let's take a look at our Bonnie model. So right now it's the only thing in my scene. And if you look, down at your statistics on the lower right hand corner of the page, you can see the statistics for what's contained inside of that model, right? So you've got 522 vertices, 512 faces, etc. And so if we were to make a copy of this by doing a shift D, that's going to duplicate this, move it off to the side, Notice how now we have twice as much of those inside of our model. So not really a big deal right now, but if you start making a lot of copies like this, Notice how those start adding up really quickly. So now I've got something like 16,000 vertices, uh, 16,000 faces. And if you have more complex things in your models, that can add up even faster. And so what we want is we want to have the ability to make copies of objects inside of our models without running up our statistics. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use collection instances. So the way that that's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and delete these out. So we're back down to the original memory size right here. The way that's going to work so we're gonna select this object and we're gonna do a control G and that's gonna add this to a collection. And we'll just call this collection Bonnie right here. So then, and so now what we need to do is we need to add an instance of that collection in our model. So to do that, we're just gonna do a shift A and then we're gonna go down to the bottom of the page right here and we're gonna look for collection instance. And in this case, we're gonna select the option for Bonnie. And so notice how, I'm going to move this over a little bit, what that does is that puts a copy of this Bonnie model inside of our Blender workspace. But if we look at this now, notice how we're not affecting our number of vertices and faces. And so the reason for that is because instead of being its own unlinked piece of geometry, this is now an instance of the Bonnie model that was contained inside of the collection. And so now, no matter how many times I duplicate this, so if I just do a shift R to repeat this, notice how nothing is happening in the lower right hand corner over here. So I've got the same number of vertices and faces. So what that means is that means that this is still going to move quickly and we're going to still going to have good performance inside of our model. So one thing you might notice about this though, is if you select any of these collection instances, so like this last one right here, and you hit the tab key, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna allow you to go into edit mode and edit this object. And so the reason for that is because at the moment, this is just acting as an instance object. It's not actually like a 3D object in here, meaning that it's all referencing back to your original model, but um, it's not editable. However, you can make these editable by doing a control A with one of them selected and clicking on the button for make instances real. And so when you make that instance real, what that means is that means that now you can come in here and you can edit this. So the other thing I wanna note about this is these instances are all linked. And so when they're all linked, what that means is that means that now if I tab into my model and I make a change to one of them, so let's say for example that we were to just make a little bit of change to the front right here. We'll notice how all along here, all of these are changing. So what that means is that means that all of these instances are linked in the sense that if you change one of them, they're all gonna change as well. So that means if you make a change in your model, you don't have to go back through and change every single instance of this. So this can be a good method to um, place repeating objects in your models as well. All right, so we'll link to some other videos about modeling and Blender on this page. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.